The Philippine Army, through its Horizon 2 modernization, embarked on the acquisition of Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge. Project is known as Combat Engineering Equipment Lot 1, Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, AVLB, acquisition with approved budget of 1.6 billion pesos for two units. The project was awarded last December 2019 to Israel's Elbit Systems Land and C4I, and Israel Military Industries Joint Venture, with a contract price worth 27,727,188 US dollars officially converted to 1,407,459,790.10 pesos. It was said that the contract was signed last January 2020. As per Max Defense's sources, Elbit Systems will be providing an extended length version of the Leonardo DRS, IMI Systems Joint Assault Bridge and to be fitted in the latest Leopard 2 main battle tank chassis called the Panzerschnell Brook 2 from Germany's Krauss Maffei Wegmann, KMW, which is the only tank platform that meets the specified requirements of the Philippine Army. The Joint Assault Bridge is a scissor-type bridging system with a military load capacity, MLC, rating of MLC 85, which means it can withstand loads of up to 85 tons. This means it can support even the heaviest main battle tanks that weigh around 65 to 70 tons. Leonardo DRS is the prime contractor, while Israel Military Industries, IMI, is one of the main partners of the project and development of the bridging system. With Elbit being the winning proponent, it is also expected that the vehicles would be equipped with new communications equipment using Elbit Tadiran's product line, which Max Defense believes that E-Link's mobile ad hoc network communication system will be included. E-Link's system is currently installed to the Philippine Army's newer armored vehicles supplied by Elbit system like the M113A2 mortar carriers, in addition to standard combat net radio systems like single-channel ground and airborne radio system, Sinskers, used by NATO countries and the US, including its allies like the Philippines. With a delivery period of 550 days from notice to proceed, NTP, it is expected that the delivery will be on late 2021 or early 2022 deadline.